In this video, we're actually going to install three BladeLogic server components, one right after the other, so please bear with me. We are going to install BMC Server Automation Application Server, BMC Automation Console, and the BMC Server Automation Post Install Configuration. Before you begin, make sure that port 9700 is available. Otherwise, the installation will fail. And most important, unlike all the other products we've been installing, do not install the Oracle JRE on the Windows target host. An external JRE is not required. The JRE, the JRE is already embedded with the product. But even worse, installing an external JRE actually confuses the installation. Specifically, the database configuration does not work. You'll get through the first two installations successfully, but the post-install configuration will fail. As you can see, the first BladeLogic product, BMC Server Automation Application Server, is loaded into the currently installing tree and is ready to install. Before you continue, take a VM snapshot of the target host. Review the destination directory and then click Next. Time to pull out your planning spreadsheet. Enter the DBA user and then enter the DBA password. Now we're creating a separate BladeLogic database instance. Create a BladeLogic password and then confirm it. BladeLogic uses a self-signed certificate to use with HTTPS and SSL. The traditional self-signed password is change it. But you really should enter a password a bit more challenging to foil hackers and other evildoers. Review the file server information, review the JVM settings. If you need to, specify locations for the SMTP and SNMP servers. Preview the products and versions listed and then click install. The BMC server automation application server takes about 20 to 30 minutes to install. Very good. We've successfully installed our first BladeLogic product. In the installation summary panel, review the installation log, and then click Done to finish the installation. Now continue by installing the BMC Server Automation Console. Review the welcome information. OK, by now you know the drill. Take a VM snapshot before you proceed to the next step. Preview the products and the versions listed and then click install. The console takes about 20 minutes to install. When you see the validation warnings, Go inside the target host and configure the DEP settings. This warning might be a legacy from old installers and it might be benign. I don't want to take any chances with the installation so I configure the machine to run in unrestricted mode. That's great. We've now finished the second BladeLogic installation. Click Done and let's continue with the post-installation steps. Review the welcome information 
and then click Next. By now you know the drill. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200 if you do not take a snapshot of your environment. Here we integrate the BladeLogic server with the AR system server. Review the settings for the AR system server and then click Next. Now create two BMC server automation super user passwords. One is for RBAC admin and the other for the BladeLogic admin. Create the BladeLogic guest password. Preview the products and versions listed and then click install. The BladeLogic post installation configuration takes about 45 to 50 minutes to finish. So now is a good time to take a coffee break. See you in a few minutes. Welcome back. We finished the Blade Logic installation. We are now ready to move on to the next CLM product. We're going to install the cloud database extensions onto the AR system server. Click Done to continue.